welcome back to keeping up with Kaylee today is the day I'm gonna break down to you guys what I got from my wedding registry and all the wedding gifts that I received mostly it was money honey and I'm not gonna be mad about that because I really 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 have such a small studio apartment and there's some things that I needed and I definitely got but money was very helpful because there's some stuff that we're saving up for and you know it worked for us but I wanted to show you some of the items that I did get to spark any inspiration for something that you want to put onto your wedding registry or if you just like watching hauls like I do on YouTube all the time I just am curious about what people are hauling what people are getting and what people are loving so you came to the right channel for all of my bath and body works lovers my wax weirdos like myself I am currently burning the blueberry pie candle and wow 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 is it one of my favorite candles absolutely it smells so freaking good I was like in a very fruity mood and this week is 4th of July so I was like 4th of July equals a blueberry pie candle and that fire crackle pop so that is what I'm currently burning all week and now back to the wedding content so Ryan and I registered on Amazon and Pier 1. Pier 1 is like a little difficult to register with. I don't, I don't know. They have a weird thing. It doesn't tie in with the knot. And then Amazon, it's always pretty easy to work with Amazon. They're great at refunds and you got to see what was coming in and who gave you what. So it was kind of organized in that sense. And they really do have most of the home stuff you need. There are a few things that I wanted from like William Sonoma and Pottery Barn, which weren't accessible through Amazon. So I'm going to use my gift cards and the money that I received uh, yeah I just also quickly want to say if anyone who's watching gave me these gifts I'm so beyond grateful your thank you card is coming your way but Ryan and I are just so happy with how everything turned out and the gifts were just a bonus you know we don't need gifts we weren't expecting gifts the biggest gift of all like I said for my bridal shower was just being together and enjoying and celebrating the love for each other so I was just over the moon and if I didn't receive one gift off of my registry and I just had to go off of my wedding, I would be completely satisfied. So thank you so much and let's start this wedding gift haul. Ooh, this candle smells so good, you guys. Honestly, I should have just registered for Bath & Body Works gift cards because I want to get like 17 more of those candles. So I registered on Pier 1 for a new nice everyday plateware set because uh, the ones I have are just ugly and I have been eyeing these for my entire life. Honestly, I don't even know when it started, but I would go in Pier 1 and I would say to myself, the moment that I get to make a registry, I want this so badly and I just got it two days ago and I'm so thankful thank you Jean um, I got this a really pretty plate and then if you can see up close it just has this really nice detailing around the sides it's simple it's called antique scroll and I just really love the way it looks and then on the plates they also have that scroll around the sides and the plates on the ends are like very um curvy you know they have some some extra texture to them rather than just a circular plate which I really enjoy so these are a new everyday plate so if you come over and have some dinner this is what you'll be eating off of and then for my China because I didn't want to register for China wear I just don't think I'm like bougie enough to be having China wear I don't know I'm pretty just like a relaxed gal I just want to hang out eat some food heck I'd probably eat it off of a paper plate every day but that's bad for the environment so we're not gonna do that so my China wear is this really this is still really beautiful and in my opinion is just as nice as China is this other set that I got from Pottery Barn and this is the Monique Lulier I think that's how you say her name excuse me if I did not pronounce that right but look how pretty this is the way that it is all set together makes you feel like you're eating off of this pretty white flowered plate I just love the way the edges are and the inside the way it dips down in there to make it look like a flower it's absolutely stunning just so stunning 
and Miss McCurry got this for me and this is one of the first gifts that I received off my wedding registry and when I saw it I just my heart felt so happy I just I don't know there's little things that just make you so happy and home decor are one of them I kind of just want to get through I have I'm on my bed clearly and I just want to get through the glass type of wear because I want to put this back just take a break real quick and put things back because it's not very safe to just be hanging out on my bed so the next thing that we got is this little cake stand and this is very tiny so you'd have to make a super small cake or just have some cookies in here but I just love the way it looks and I am more drawn to just white kind of home decor in my kitchen because it's standard you don't I don't know I don't love patterns you grow out of patterns and I feel like white is always best paint it white get white it just is always good and hey bridal white it works so I just think that having white pieces will always always be in style and you're not going to grow out of them so I just really wanted to make sure that I picked up some pretty standard staples that are in white so the next thing that I want to show you guys are these two milk glasses I have four actually in total but I decided to get these because one I really like experimenting in the kitchen and I've been kind of wanting to create my own almond milk or cashew milk something like that but I do always always make smoothies and it'd be fun to kind of make them in advance and have them ready so I don't have to you know worry about making them in the morning I'm sure there's other ways like soups would be great in here gazpacho oh gosh I just had the best gazpacho the other day at the Vershaw's house they had this watermelon tomato gazpacho reminder to text them and ask for that recipe but so I got four of these which are really nice and I also I don't know if I show this to you I don't know if I got this for my bridal shower or not but it's called the frothy and you put it on high or low and it frosts your milk before you either put your it's almost like a latte you know so it frosts your milk and then I only do tea lattes because I don't drink coffee so this I thought would be a really nice way to save my bucks because I've been showing up at Alfred's Tea and Starbucks just a little too much these days and I gotta cut back because that wedding stayed in the budget but I also need a budget after the wedding <laughs> so this is a really cool little tool that I picked up and I'm excited to use and make my own tea lattes we also off of Pier 1 got a flatware set and these are these beautiful copper I would say almost rose gold flatware we have forks and spoons in various sizes I don't can't remember if we got a knife I think we did but anyways I want to show you up close because the way they look up close are very very cool looking they almost look like stone and they're very textured on the ends they're a little heavy well, I can't tell if this is focusing so hopefully you can see what they look like come on focus but yeah I love these and these are gonna be for my China wear because I'm not gonna use these every day we also got another flatware set that are our everyday flatware that we're gonna eat off of sorry if the wind is very loud over here but it's hot and my blinds are open and I'm not gonna close them or I'll be sweating like a pig I don't know why I've just been drawn to these little jars what are they they're porcelain ramekins and I think they will be so fun to make little crisps in during the fall time or I make a chia seed pudding and I have a few of them so I could prep my chia seed pudding in the morning for breakfast but I don't know I just think you could do so much in these and I'm really excited that I have them because I also got a creme brulee torch so heck I might just step up my A game and start making some creme brulee who knows who knows Kaylee's Kitchen is definitely gonna be a series coming to my YouTube channel I did it in the beginning of my YouTube but I kind of slacked so I'm gonna have a 4th of July recipe for you guys that I make every single year so be tuned subscribe don't forget or you're gonna miss it if you follow me on Instagram you know how obsessed I am with my new copperware I can't stop talking about it it's just again one of the little things that just makes your heart happy and look it's just so beautiful look at that shine it is so nice these are very small saucepans um, I was a little nervous that they're gonna be super big because we're running out of space in the kitchen but they're not and they're perfect size to make some sauces in some soups oh man i'm so ready for soup season i'm so ready 
but I'm gonna embrace the summer. Stay, stay present, Kales, stay present. The last copperware that I got, actually this is the second thing I got off of my registry, is this really cool Giada De Laurentiis, and it is, gosh, I forget what it's called, but it's like, um, it's a, not a brazier, I don't know. It's a really large saucepan, and I feel like this would be great to make some pastas in, some stew. Um, I'm I'm just pumped about it. I love, love this stuff. It is hearty, it lasts a long time, and it's quality. And quality sometimes is better than quantity, you guys. So you don't need a million and ten pans. You just need three that actually get you to where you need to be. Give me one second while I go put everything back, and then we'll keep discussing. Okay, and I'm back. So we asked for games because if you saw my bridal shower haul, I love to play games. Ryan and I, just like that's one of our date night things, we'll just stay at home, play games, order in, um, maybe go out for dessert or something, but we just, we're game people. And hopefully you'll see in my wedding video, if my vlog footage doesn't come back, um, we love playing games so much that our guest book or one of our guest books was a Jenga pieces and everyone would sign a Jenga piece so that when we play Jenga the next time we get to see what everybody wrote for their advice or whatever I don't know what they wrote I left it at home so hopefully we will get that back and play Jenga soon so we asked for cards against humanity because we didn't have our own set of cards against humanity which you know if you haven't played before it's a little risque but it's really funny and hilarious and we did get what do you meme so we got the what do you meme expansion pack number two and then we got the what do you meme mean girls edition ryan wasn't too thrilled about it but i was like that is so fetch i'm into it on wednesdays we're gonna wear pink and play what do you meme mean girls edition Okay, and now for something I'm beyond thrilled about because I have not had a real vacuum the whole time I've lived in this apartment. And da 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 da, we got not only, not only a vacuum, but we got the creme de la creme of vacuums, and it is the Dyson vacuum. Look how beautiful this vacuum is. It's wireless. Yes, if you've never heard of Dyson, they're, vi oh, they're everything. Their vacuums in particular, though, are, who hates when you're vacuuming and you get wrapped up in the cord, and then, I don't know, I just feel like my vacuum's always dead growing up, like there's always something wrong with the vacuum, and I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this vacuum, and I don't like to clean, so if something's gonna make my cleaning experience more exciting, I'm just, I'm pumped, I'm thrilled, and this so far has been so cool. So it has on the top, it says max suction and high suction. So we use the max suction, ugh. we use the max suction, and it literally lifts up our area rug because it's that strong. And as you know, we have a dog, so the dog hair goes everywhere, and Kale's hair goes everywhere because I have a lion's mane. So there's just a lot of hair involved in this one small space. So having this is amazing, and before I was just brooming the crap out of the carpet, it wasn't working for me. So I'm so excited to get this vacuum. So thank you to the Barons because when I got this, I was like, I didn't think I was gonna get it. So I'm, I'm super pumped. Thank you so much. And you need to go check out the Dyson products if you haven't already. Wow, their stuff is really expensive, but quality. Okay, so these things are heavy. I, the last few things that I have on the wedding registry were for my bed because I lay my head down in a bed every single night. You wanna make your bed comfy cozy as much as possible. It is the spot that needs to be your oasis. And I wasn't feeling like my bed has been my oasis lately, so I decided to add some stuff on my registry. I finally got this comfy mattress pad. Mattress pads, do not ignore a mattress pad because it can change the game of your bed. It can add a little extra comf and coast to a different nook and cranny of your body you never thought you it would. Super pumped about that. And then I also got this rather, rather. Then I received this ruffle skirt bedspread. It's very shabby chic. It's very me, if you will, because I love the way the ruffles, let me show you a little closer. 
Look how pretty the way the ruffles flow off the sides of the beds. This isn't a necessity. It's more of something that I just thought would look really pretty. I already do have a bed cover, but I do want it to look a certain way. I've been Pinteresting beds lately. So this is kind of with the theme that I want. I don't know if Ryan's gonna be too thrilled about ruffles all over the bed. I did get some ruffle pillow covers. That I only have two pillows on my bed right now. These are from the couch, just to add a little pizzazz to this bed. Um, just being real here. But we only have two pillows, and so it doesn't look really nice when it's just sitting there. I wanna get some square, large pillows that will kind of sit against the bed, and they'll have like ruffles on the side of them. So that's coming my way. And last, but certainly not least, um, I don't wanna go get it, it's too big. I'm gonna go get it because I love you guys. Okay, I gave you some wrong information. This right here is the mattress stopper. It's huge. Um, this right here is the duvet cover. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like the fluffy thing that goes inside, no. It's the duvet and then the duvet cover is what goes over it. Got it. So this is all the stuff that I got. Um, I'm gonna make my bed and so tonight I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video, that you got some inspiration from it. Um, I will try to link everything down below if I can find it, but I may not be able to because I registered a while ago. So I will try my best to have everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so grateful for every freaking subscriber on this channel. It's been so cool to see this channel grow and we have been growing kind of quickly lately. So I can't thank you guys enough. And I know a lot of you guys are candle video lovers that have subscribed recently because that was one of the ones that had really boomed on my channel. So don't worry, I'm definitely gonna get some candle videos out for you guys. I just have a little more wedding content to go through. And then I'm gonna go back to a more of my lifestyle stuff that I always talk about. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.